The laser can give you illusions, illusions of objects that aren't really there. And you can get other illusions too with different sorts of lighting, particularly a strobe. A strobe is short for stroboscope. You've met them in discos where this bright flashing light does funny things to people's movement. If you increase the frequency, you can see my fingers are sort of twinkling and flickering in the beam of the strobe there. Well, let's see how it might work. If you take my exercises here, let's slow the tape down and show you that. You can see every frame is a slightly different picture. And by slowing that tape down, you could analyse my movements if you wanted to. The trouble is with birds and insects that go very fast, you can't do that. Every frame is blurred. We have to slow those wings in another way. The strobe's how we do it. Let's uh, try it again. That frequency is about right for exercises. Let's get so that the strobe is going off as my arms are top and bottom of their cycle. Now, if you turn the room lights out, that's all you see. My arms are the top and the bottom of their cycle. You don't see the movement in between. But with the room lights on again, you can see I'm moving all the time. And that's what we do for fast-moving animals. And I've got one here. It's a little moth. So if we bring the strobe in there and shine it on the moth and increase the frequency, we've got the bug cam in position to get unusual views. And to get an insect flying, you blow on its face. Here goes. And by varying the frequency, we can slow the insect down. We can even make the wings appear stationary. Or we can set them at different positions in their cycle. So there it is, the stroboscope, a useful tool for stopping fast objects. It can even freeze a bullet in mid-flight. No.